Tirtha, tirtha, iast, tirtha is a Sanskrit word that means crossing place, ford, and refers to any place, text or person that is holy. It particularly refers to pilgrimage sites and holy places in Hinduism as well as Jainism. The process or journey associated with Tirtha is called Tirtha Yatra, while alternate terms such as Kshetra, Gopitha and Mahalaya are used in some Hindu traditions to refer to a place of pilgrimage. Topic Tirtha Tirtha Sanskrit, Tirtha literally means a ford, a crossing place in the sense of transition or junction. Tirtha is a spiritual concept in Hinduism, particularly as a pilgrimage site, states Axel Michaels, that is a holy junction between worlds that touch and do not touch each other. The word also appears in ancient and medieval Hindu texts to refer to a holy person, or a holy text with something that can be a catalyst for a transition from one state of existence to another. It is, states Knut A. Jacobson, anything that has a salvific value to a Hindu, and includes pilgrimage sites such as mountains or forests or seashore or rivers or ponds, as well as virtues, actions, studies or state of mind. Tirtha can be an actual physical sacred location in Hindu traditions, or a metaphorical term referring to meditation where the person travels to an intellectual sacred mind state such as of truth, forgiveness, kindness, simplicity and such. Tirtha in Hindu texts, states Bardwaj, is one of the many ways towards self realization and bliss. The word Tirtha is found in the oldest layer, that is the Samhita of the Rigveda as well as other Vedas. In the hymns of Rigveda, such as 1.169.6 and 4.29.3, the context suggests that the word means a way or road. In other hymns of Rigveda, such as 8.47.11, states Kane, the context suggests the term means a ford in the river. Yet, in other cases, Tirtha refers to any holy place, such as by the sea, or a place that connects a sacrificial ground to the outside. Later texts use the word Tirtha to refer to any spot, locality or expanse of water where circumstances or presence of great sages or gurus has made special. In the Upanishads, states Diana L. Ek, the crossing over refers to the spiritual transition and transformation from this world to the world of Brahman, the Supreme, the world illumined by the light of knowledge. The emphasis in the Upanishads, in Tirtha context is on spiritual knowledge, instead of rituals, and this theme appears in the Hindu epics as well. Topic holy sites The Dharmasastras and the Puranas, states Cain, assert numerous descriptors for what is holy, including all mountains, all of Himalayas, all rivers, lakes, dwellings of rishis sages, temples, cowpens, great forests, and all seas. This tradition traces back to the Rigveda, where Aranyani large forest is referred to as a deity. The reverence for rivers and water bodies is traceable to the Nadi Studi, or the river hymn, in hymn 10.75 of the Rigveda. Pilgrimage sites are not prominent in dharmasastras such as Manumriti and Yajnavakya Smriti, but they are found in the epic Mahabharata and the Puranas. The Kumbhamela, which rotates at a gap of three years, between Prayaga renamed to Allahabad in the late medieval era, Haridwar, Ujjain and Nasik, remain popular into the modern times, with tens of millions of Hindus participating. Reasons Some pilgrimage are part of a vrata vow, which a Hindu may make for a number of reasons. It may mark a special occasion, such as the birth of a baby, or as part of a rite of passage such as a baby's first haircut, or after healing from a sickness. It may, states Ek, also be the result of prayers answered, or consequent to a vow a person had made if his or her prayer were to come true, such as the well-being of a family member, or overcoming poverty or destitution or a challenging situation. An alternate reason for Tirtha, for some Hindus, is to respect wishes or in memory of a beloved person after his or her death. This may include dispersing their cremation ashes in a Tirtha region in a forest, mountain, river or sea to honor the wishes of the dead. The journey to a Tirtha, assert some Hindu texts, helps one overcome the sorrow of the loss. Another reason for a Tirtha is the Hindu belief that journeys have rejuvenating potential, to purify the inner state of man, and there is spiritual merit in travel, a theme asserted by the Vedic texts. This journey in later Hindu texts, states Bardwaj, has ranged from the inner journey of meditation to physically traveling to famed temples or bathe in rivers such as the Ganges. Tirtha has been one of the recommended means of addressing remorse and to perform penance, for unintentional errors and intentional sins, in the Hindu tradition. The effort and austerities during the Tirtha are a part of Prayaschita concept, which means, atonement, penance, expiation, for something one has done, but shouldn't have or, something one did not do, but should have. 
Vishnu Dharmasastra asserts that the type of sin that may be expiated through pilgrimages is referred to as anupatakas small sin, in contrast to mahapatakas major sin that require other penances. According to Kane, many texts asserted that Tirtha Yatra journey to a holy place was a popular way for redemption of sins in the case of all classes of men and women. Method The proper procedure for a pilgrimage is debated within the Smirtis, with questions such as whether one should cut his hair before a pilgrimage arising or whether a fast at the Tirtha is required. The mode of travel is also widely discussed, particularly when the Tirtha is undertaken as part of a penance. The most widely accepted view appears to be that the greatest austerity comes from traveling on foot, or part of the journey is on foot, and that the use of a conveyance is only acceptable if the pilgrimage is otherwise impossible. The Hindu texts assert that the man should take his wife with him, when proceeding to pilgrimage. However, some smirtis also call attention to the fact that doing one's duty as a householder is more important than going on pilgrimages, and it is only in special cases or once one has paid his three debts to his parents, his teacher, and the Vedas that he should resort to pilgrimages. Raghunanda's Prayaschita Tattva asserts that the person seeking penance must give up sixteen things when he reaches Ganges River, including behavior such as praising another Tirtha, striking any one, sexual dalliance, accepting gifts, giving one's used clothing as gifts to others others. Kshetra A pilgrimage place or location as some Hindu texts is also referred to as Kshetra iast, Kshetra, Sanskrit, Kshetra literally any «field, area, tract of land». A Kshetra denotes a holy precinct or temenos. Kshetra is also an etymon of the Avestan term exa theta ra desirable dominion" which holds the semantic field power", and is also a personal name for a divinity or immortal who comprises one of the Amisha spendas of Zoroastrianism. Exa Theta Ra or Sharavar conquered that which was evil and annexed territory thus won, proffering it to the honest, peaceable and humble. A Kshetra often refers to a collection of Tirtha locations temples, river banks in a certain location, such as Varanasi, Hardwar, Somnath, Mathura Vrindavan, Ayodhya, Puri and Kanchipuram, are referred to as a Kshetra. A Kshetra may denote a place where there is a temple or where there is held to have been a person or event of sacred, religious or dharmic importance. The Kurukshetra specifically is the «field» or «precinct» where the Pandavas and Kauravas fought a religious war as told in the Bhagavad Gita section of the Mahabharata. A Kshetra need not be distant permanently developed travel site, and refers to any temporary space, such as a wedding area or mandala set up for a worship, that is sacred. Both yantras and mandalas are sometimes referred to as kshetras. Buddhism has two analogues to the kshetra, the pure land or buddhiksetra and the refuge tree. The Vaishnava Puranas enumerates seven sites as the gates of moksha, Ayodhya, Mathura, Maya, Kasi, Kanchi, Avantika, Ujjain, Puri and Dvaravati. Topic: Tirtha Monastery. The Gosains credit Adi Shankara for setting up ten monastic orders in India, of which Tirtha is one and is based in Dwarka, Gujarat in Kalika Matha. The entire list includes Tirtha and Ashrama in Gujarat, Vana and Aranya in Odisha, Jiri, Parvata and Sagara in Uttarkhand, Saraswati, Bharati and Puri in Karnataka. See also References Bibliography Bardwaj, Surinder Mohan Hindu Places of Pilgrimage in India, a Study in Cultural Geography. University of California Press. ISBN 978-0-520-04951-2. India, A Sacred Geography. Harmony. ISBN 978-0-385-53190-0. Knut A. Jacobson Pilgrimage in the Hindu Tradition, Salvific Space. Routledge. ISBN 978-0-415-59038-9. Kane, P. V. History of Dharmasastra, Ancient and Medieval Religious and Civil Law in India, 4. Klaus K. Klostermeyer 2010. 
Survey of Hinduism, A, 3rd edition. State University of New York Press. ISBN 978-0-7914-8011-3. James G. Lochtefeld The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Hinduism, NZ. The Rosen Publishing Group. ISBN 978-0-8239-3180-4. Robert Lingett The Classical Law of India. University of California Press. ISBN 978-0-520-01898-3. Axel Michaels, Barbara Harshiv Hinduism, Past and Present. Princeton University Press. ISBN 978-0691089539. Patrick Olivelle Between the Empires, Society in India 300 BCE to 400 CE. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-977507-1. Badianath Saraswati Traditions of Turthas in India, The Anthropology of Hindu Pilgrimage. N. K. Bose Memorial Foundation. Michael Rudolph, Klaus-Peter Kopping, Bernhard Lysel Ritual and Identity, Performative Practices as Effective Transformations of Social Reality performances. Munster, Germany, Lit Verlag. pp. 267–269 at SEQ. ISBN 3-8258-8042-7. External links Sacred of the Sacred by Swami Tripurari